What is the crack, lads? We are back with another squad review. So a lot of people have been asking me for the Manchester City pack, and I was going to get to it last, but obviously the rest of the packs that are as follows are uh, Celtic Roma, and then we have obviously got Monaco, who I think a lot of people are overlooking. I think Monaco are a fantastic team. You just saw them win the eFootball Open, or uh, the eFootball Championship Pro. Um, and Galatasaray have some really nice players as well. I mean, as I keep, you know, reiterating through this series, lads, and for any newcomers coming across, like, it's not, it's not that it, just because a player has, like, a huge high overall rating of, like, 92 or 93, it doesn't mean that they're the best player for that position because it all comes down to the individual stats, it all comes down to the training, and it also comes down to how you actually play. There's no point you having a 94 rated Lewandowski up front if you're you know pl not playing crosses or long ball or using him as a target man or shooting on sight or taking stunning shots you know you'd be better off with like a kind of a small mobile versatile striker so just going to sit up a little bit here um so yeah we're going to crack on with this at the moment so manchester city obviously they are for 1500 coins as well and as you can see there you get the Bruyne, foden diaz laporte bernardo silva ederson good doggan uh Cancelo, Rodri, uh, Jesus, and Sterling, and then you get your 28,000 trainer points as well. So as ever, we are going to head over to eFootballDB.com, and we do have a couple of the players loaded up here. So starting with Kevin De Bruyne, you know, he goes to 92 overall as his starting rating, but he ha only has five levels. So once we boost that up and we give him one for possession, I think 90 is enough for, for De Bruyne because he is actually so good in the game. Um, I mean, his pace and everything for an attack midfielder, if you're using him just as an outright kind of passer and maybe kind of like a Frank Lampard style player in uh, Pez, if Lampard is somebody that you already have played with or somebody like that, he's not going to be your box to box like Goretzka or Kimmich or one of those guys if we talked about those already in the Bayern Munich kit pack. Um, but we do obviously have, uh, we do obviously have a lot of, you know, a lot of uh, potential here with De Bruyne if you are picking him. And as I keep saying, lads, you know, if you want to buy De Bruyne and you want to train him up, you're going to have to, you know, really pick and choose where you put his, his points because, again, as we said, you're only, you are only, only going to get into the, like, 90s in the passing, but his pace is going to be a little bit lower, his shooting isn't going to be the best, his kicking power is high, Um, but then you've got his dribbling is only 78, his tight possession is 84, and compared to other top-class attacking midfielders, like if you've been lucky enough to get Ronaldinho or Messi or Maradona, that dribbling could be a factor for you. Now, when we go over to his regular player edition here, you can see that we've got 20 levels to go. We bring up his possession game. He's already at 80, which is fantastic for his regular card, his standard card. We bring that up to 90 to keep it in check with that. And then we're just going to boost this up and bring up everything that we possibly can, get his passing up to 90 straight off the bat, get his dribbling up to maybe um, 80 in his ball control and stuff. And we still have a bit of room here that we can upgrade his pace a little bit just to make him a little bit more more mobile and a little bit more versatile if we want to play him as a cmf obviously his defensive capabilities aren't going to be the strongest but if you are buying de bruyne you are wasting him i think personally if you are going to be having him at the back or trying to defend or trying box to box there's there's other players that you can buy this guy is 740,000 gp so i think if you are looking to get a couple of city players especially de bruyne um I would potentially say that, yeah, that this is probably the best. I know I said that the Bayern Munich one is probably the best because you get a legend up at Meccano who can go up to a high standard and you get Lewandowski and you get Kimmich and you get Goretzka and Davies. I think, you know, uh, Manchester City are equally as good. They're just a different type of play style that you're going to have to play with them. Uh, you know, we've still got a couple of levels that we can go here. We can bring his dribbling up a little bit. We can bring his passing up to 92. Um, we can bring his speed up to 76. And that is a phenomenal card, lads. That is a better card that outperforms his uh, card in this club pack. But again, it's going to take a lot of effort and a lot of training to get the Brian and maxed out at 20. Unless you've got a load of trainer points. If you've got a load of trainer points you want to pop him into De Bruyne he will take a lot of XP to boost him up but yeah he is a fantastic player I think he's the pick of the bunch but the standard version of him for for 740,000 GP it is a lot so I could see why people would want to buy the city uh club pack because it is a very very good club pack and again lads you could train this up you could take his passing down a little bit and you could put it into speed to bring it up to 75 75 there is a couple of options there um but yeah, moving on. So next up, we've got Phil Foden, who I think it was Sep. I was in one of Sep's streams the other night, and Sep was saying that this guy is one of the most 
you know, he's, his stats are absolutely unbelievable. And I haven't really looked at Foden too much. I've always gone for the, you know, I've gone for Neymar on the left or I've gone for Corona or Munayin or somebody like that. I haven't really looked at Foden when it's been, uh, when I've been looking at getting like left or uh, left or right wingers. Um, but Foden, lads, he looks absolutely incredible. So again, we're going to just pump up his possession game there to one. And then like his speed for a dribbler, we already have the base stats that we need for dribbling. We don't need to touch these stats. We don't need anything over 90 dribbling, really. I think for this, all we need to do is boost up maybe his speed a little bit and uh, just kind of have that kind of mix there so that we have 88 acceleration. And I think I'd be fairly happy with that. I don't think you need a winger with good finishing, even though he's got 77. And I'll show you how he stacks up against the legend Neymar card here, as you can see, 93. In a second, we will go to that. But Neymar starts off at a 92. And when you kind of put up the pace of uh, Neymar to bring him in line here with each other, you've already got very similar stats. You've also got the speed that you can put in there. Um, and obviously then as well, Neymar is going to have that dribbling that's going to be a little bit better, but not too much better. It's just going to be a slightly different. So you've got 86 and 87 as, a, as his pace, 83, 88. And then obviously you've got the, the dribbling 88, 90, 89 for Foden, 89, 91, 89. So like this is the Neymar card, how it stacks up against Foden. I would say that Foden is very, 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 very good. And he's a worthy competitor there for Neymar. Now, when we actually go into his standard card and again as i said if you are prepared to grind 170,000 gp lads is for nothing at this stage of the game the game's been out a while and if we are just going to boost this up right he already has a fairly high possession stat we bring that up to 92 and then we're just going to focus on what makes his other card so potentially explosive right so we're going to give him 85 in pace here and then we're going to focus on we might take a few off that we're going to bring that up to 88 we've still got 15 levels so we can just pump that into dribbling and you can see very, very quickly there, lads, that even with just those three stats kind of maxed out with not in touch to pass and not in touch to shooting, I potentially would probably um, probably keep him at that and then maybe give his passing uh, a couple of digits as well just to bring that up. You're going to get a 92 overall and he stacks up very, very, very well. He's actually faster and he's actually got better dribbling stats than this club pack. So yeah, that is one to keep an eye on as well. Next up, we have got Ruben Diaz. So Ruben Diaz, lads, again, fantastic player. Look at the base stats that he has before we even touch him, really. Um, he's got header 82. He's got 83 jump, 84 physical contact, defensive awareness 90 and aggression 92. Absolutely incredible uh, starting player if you were just starting the game and you want to have like a really good solid center back that's got everything. He's got a bit of pace issues. Obviously, he's only got 66 acceleration. So that's what we're going to be focusing on. We give him one there and then we're going to bring that up to 70 and we're going to bring up his speed just to 70 as well. And then we'll just throw in one into defending or else we'll throw it into aerial strength just to have him a bit more approachable in the air if we're coming up against Ibrahimovic or somebody like Lewandowski or somebody tall like that you like Jan Collar but lads he is a very very good player and when you compare him against his standard card again you're seeing that I think Konami have done a good job of balancing the standard players with the legend players and with the feature players I think last year you know if you had a feature player that card was automatically better in every department than the standard version of the card. Whereas this year, it seems to be that with a bit of training and with a bit of tweaking, if you are prepared to grind and you are prepared to actually put the time and invest your time in, instead of investing your money with the with the club packs and buying them, uh, you can actually get a very comparable team that will will do you know wonders for you as well. You know, now this guy is four hundred and twenty thousand. So if we look at Foden's base card, he's one hundred and seventy, and we look at Kevin De Bruyne's seven forty. I think, in fairness, the Man City uh, pack is probably one of the more expensive ones. Obviously, uh, Bayern Munich are really expensive as well because Lewandowski and Kimmich, I think, are nearly two million between the two of them. Um, but yeah, I mean, there is there is a lot of room for expansion here with Diaz because when you start to train him up, I think the biggest one that we want to look at is his defending. So obviously he plays with quick counter, so that's going to factor in. If we do need to add four points to that, um, or even three points to that just to kind of bring up his possession game a little bit and then we're going to try and bring up this to similar stats that he has in his featured card we're going to try and get this up to about 80, 83 and then the rest is just going to be his pace and his speed lads so that's basically how we are going to train him up and you will see
see very quickly that 70 and 70 for his pace and his acceleration. And then we've got obviously got all the stats that we could possibly want for his defensive side of the game. And then we've got a little bit of passing that we can do here to bring him up to a 93 overall. So he's actually going to outperform his uh, club pack card. And this is what you see with a lot of the players is that they've both got 70 pace. They've both got 83 header. And then here we've got a little bit of a difference in the passing um but the defending is 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 better so we've got 91 and 91 aggression and defensive awareness we've got 90 and 92 here for his defensive awareness and aggression so it's just a slight tweak to the to the formula um obviously you can spend a few more points on him because his possession game is very strong here um but again that that kind of comes to that kind of comes to the fore with it a lot of the time that you can actually you can actually train up the players and no more so than Jao Cancelo, right? So we're going to take a look at Jao Cancelo here and he is a really good example. We're going to take a look at his base card in a second. We're going to open that up, but we are going to take a look here at this club pack card because a lot of people have been saying to me, lads, that this is the best right back in the game, right? I haven't played with Cancelo that much. I had him, I think I have him on my other account on one of the accounts that I bought. Um, and I've seen a lot of people play with him. Like when you do look at his stats, I think when you are looking for a defender you are a defensive right mid or right back you do need to have pace but you also need to have like aggression or else you need tackling or you need something like that along the line that you're going to have the foot being you know stuck in every now and again as well as bombarding up the up the wing I mean most of the right backs that are worth their salt um they have stamina plus you know 82 you can see here his is 86 so again we'll pump up his possession game and then we are just going to focus on the defensive side here to bring that up to 80 and then i think the pace wise i mean that should be enough to get up and down the pitch um as best as we possibly can he's not the fastest right back or left back that you're going to get but the fact that he can play both positions and he's got 80 defensive engagement 87 stamina his passing stats are absolutely ridiculous for those long pings across the length of the pitch um but as we said like taking a look at his standard card right and we take a look here we've got 27 levels which is equal to 80, 52 uh, progression points and then we only need to pump in two to his possession game here and we are ready to rock and roll with him so the biggest thing for me i think is bringing up his actual uh defending here to 80 so we obviously want that to get to 80 to be on the same level as his other card and then we're going to go into his pace right so we're going to try and go 85 and maybe 85 um, and see what we're left with we do have 17 points left then we can focus on his dribbling and then obviously we can focus on one or two of his passes as well we don't really need him as a passer um, but I do like to give that option there especially for the lofted pass to be about 85 86 just to keep him in line if we are going training him up and then obviously put the rest in wherever you want to put it in we don't really need aerial strength because he's not going to be winning any of those battles anyway in my opinion even though he's not the smallest right back or full back um, we can have those 13 points and we can literally just you know put it into whatever speed that we want to put it into or else we can put it onto dribbling which is always fun um but i think yeah having that lower body strength stat and upping it as best as we possibly can to get his stamina and his speed up to the max limit i think that's kind of where we want to rock with it and again you can see that his stats distribute perfectly as a right back where you've got 88 speed 86 acceleration low pass 80 82 ball control 81 dribbling 81 offensive awareness 74 defensive awareness and then his defensive engagement is 80 now if we had wanted to talk, we could also take maybe one of the one of the pace away and add it on to defend it to bring it up even better but i do think that having him with that little bit of extra pep in his step is going to be you know exactly what what uh what you need so yeah lads that is it i would say that for all intents and purposes that the man city pack is very 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 decent it's probably i would say between that and the Bayern munich pack you've got a ready-made team, you know, you've got your strikers, obviously we haven't touched on uh, Jesus, we haven't touched on Rodri, or we haven't touched on Sterling, or Gundogan, or Ederson, we've got a really solid goalkeeper, we've got two solid centre-backs, we've got a brilliant attacking midfielder, we're sorted for wingers with Foden, Sterling, um, and Bernardo Silva, we're sorted, I think, in the middle of the park with Godogan and Rodri. And then, obviously, striker-wise, you are a little bit kind of like, I think, left behind with having uh, Jesus up front by himself. I think you would have to get somebody else instead of there. Um, now, also, with the thing that I was talking about, lads, with Cancelo, 
if you are depending on when you're watching this video uh there is actually the free version of Kinsella that you can get for the five star nominating contract uh which we have done a video on as well so if you haven't checked that video out make sure and check that out it is in the special nominating contract here um which you can see with the nominating contract and this version of Kinsella um you can also choose between getting Marez as well but Cancelo, this guy is a really good beast. You can get him for free. Check out my video in the link below if you want to get him for free. Um, so that might make your decision on holding off on that a little bit easier. But yeah, that is it for me, lads. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you've enjoyed all these series. We'll be back with a couple of more. Don't forget to check out Dream Team Chronicles. We are back with season two. I will talk to you in a bit. Peace.